today we're going to do something different. I have Elizabeth here with me and we are going to recreate her wedding makeup. So this is a bridal makeup that I would do for somebody like Elizabeth who doesn't normally wear makeup. When I was planning it, it was quite hard because I've hardly ever seen her with makeup on. So I don't want to put so much on that it completely changes her and makes her look too different. But we want her to look her best. So this is what I came up with on the day. I'm gonna recreate it now for you. I'm gonna swap places with her. Okay, so I'm gonna start, as I always do, with the eyes. And I'm gonna start with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot in Painterly. The MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. So this I use as a primer, which just helps any eye makeup stay in place all day long, which is what we want. On the day, I made up about, it was about eight people, wasn't there? There was you, your mum, Jackie, Mariana, your my sister, sister, my niece, your niece, your, your friend, mm -hmm. and my aunt. Yeah, that's about, I think it was about nine people. I don't know, I don't remember. It was so hectic and fast. And for eyeshadow, because we're keeping it very light, I'm going to go in with MAC Jest as a base, which is just a very light pink shimmery colour. And I just wash that all over the eyelid. And then I went in with a little bit of a little bit of mid-brown and I'm just gonna do a little bit of shadowing here. In my next video, I'm going to recreate my neighbour Rossella's makeup. Somebody suggested that I do her makeup. And she had a very, very heavy eye makeup. Rossella loves her makeup, so it's a completely different look. So I'm going to do that in the next one. It should be quite fun. See two differences. And I'm just going to grab my little blending brush and blend that out. And then I got my little flat brush and I dipped it in a dark brown eyeshadow and then I just pushed this into the lash line to create a very soft eyeliner. And I'm just going to take a little clean brush and just smudge that in so it can hardly be seen and then look up up a little bit under here not all the way along because we don't want to do anything too strong but just about halfway along keeping it very soft just using what's left on the brush there we go we've got rosie here <laughs> she's having a little play <laughs> Now I'm going in with some primer, which I always use before foundation. And this is especially handy if it's hot or if you tend to get sweaty. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna smother her in it. I'm just gonna put it across the T-zone. Now, if you were doing this on yourself, I'd just say, use your fingers and rub it in like you would a normal cream, but obviously doing it on somebody else, you want to use a nice soft brush. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what do you Rosie loves the red. Uh, red lipstick. You are much whiter than you were on your wedding day, because uh, no. that was the end of the summer. Right, I'm going to use a little bit of foundation, but because this is quite a heavy foundation, I'm going to mix it with some MAC strobe cream, which will give a lovely dewy glow to the face. A little small pea-sized amount. Get it out of the bottle. <laughs> there we go. Just a little bit of glow cream. And then I use the back of my brush, mix it all up together. And... What I'm not going to do is put this all over the face. 
so I'm just going to concentrate on the T-zone and anywhere where there might be a little bit redness like around the nose which is perfectly normal and just buff it away. Playing Rosie's around. just discovered Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> she loves makeup. Now you have to imagine on the day we were doing this in a room with about 10 other people in there. There were two photographers. There was, um, <laughs> there, was a, there was a lot of German being spoken. There was a lot of Brazilian being spoken. And there was the two, um, girls. The two girls. And there was a table full of food in the middle of the room that everybody was picking at. We did have fun. That's definitely yeah, one of the best weddings that I've ever been to. Not that I've been to many, actually. I missed most of my friends' weddings because I was always here working in the summer. Okay. I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush. Not that you need much, just a little bit. And what I normally do is I put the blush on and then I go straight back in with my foundation brush and I blend it. Okay, open your eyes. Now I'm going to put some mascara on. On the day, I would always, always use a waterproof mascara because you never know who's going to cry. Even the most tough brides end up shedding a tear at some point. So this isn't a waterproof one, but that's fine for today. I cried a lot. <laughs> you always cry. Yes. Elizabeth's the big cry baby. She yeah. may seem tough, but she's not. <laughs> Now, something very important for people who don't normally do any makeup, any change on the eyebrows looks huge. So, wow. <laughs> So you have to go very, very delicately. So I'm hardly going to do anything, but I'm just going to get a little bit more shape in here and just fill in any little gaps. Without trying to scare her. <laughs> and then I'm going in, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which is pretty much the most lip coloured lip liner that you can find so it's very light and inoffensive and very well, easy to wear for everybody they've also now come out with a pillow talk uh, i think two and three so there's two darker shades to suit darker skins because this one is no good for darker skin <laughs> and then here i have the matching pillow talk uh lip this is more of a gloss it's not actually a lipstick it's a gloss but this is what i use on the day And that is all we did. It's a very simple, very fresh bridal look. I'm going to put in a photo from the wedding day when we were just ready to go up to the reception. Uh, if you haven't bought my cookbook, you won't have seen that because it's in the back cover of our cookbook. Another reason to buy it. And next week I will be back with a much heavier bridal look on my neighbour Rosella, who had a very, very heavy look because she loves makeup. So thank you for watching and I will see you next week. <laughs>